How's it going everybody, Ben from Budget Pokemon here, and in this video I'm unboxing another 100 euro mystery box. It's been over a year since I opened the last one, so let's see what we can find in here. First up, an Astro Radiance Elite Trainer box. Next up, a Pokemon 151 poster collection. I thought I was done with the set. Oh well. Paldea Evolved, that's really really nice, I like that set. Here we have a Pokemon Go V Battle deck, it appears like. I really don't like Pokemon Go, but there we are. And last but not least, the Zara Aura VMAX and V-Star box. So this is what we ended up with. Um, kind of okay, but let's go to present me and unbox these. So here we are, here we have all the products from that mystery box. And it's a lot of products. Um, this one I'm not sure about. It's just two decks, I, I guess, from Pokemon Go. Um, I'm gonna open it anyways, because I think there is two booster packs. Yeah, there's two booster packs at least in here. So I guess that's what we're opening this for. Even though I absolutely hate Pokemon Go, I would still love to pull the Mewtwo. And, well, let's just get most of this off the table, I suppose. And start it off with the with the small parts. Alright, here we go. So let's start it off with this with this three-pack blister from Paldea Evolved, actually. I do kind of like Paldea Evolved. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention this. Um, I, I actually bought this from the, from the same seller I did the, the 100 mystery or 100 euro mystery box last year as well. So we'll see how we do. Last year we did very, very well. There you go, there is the code card and here we have the, the nice promo of Tinker Tink. Very, very cute looking. There we go. Let's put that over here. And three packs of, of Paldea Evolved to go. Um, would still love to pull the Iono, the special illustration rare for that matter. Still need that one for the for the trainer collection. But then again, I'd be happy over over any any special illustration rare, I suppose. Let's see, Pikachu right here, Kilowattril. We can get something great, you know. The last time I I opened a a three pack blister, hey, we got a Pikachu. Nice. Okay. The last time I did open a three-pack blister in from a mystery box, I did open a Galarian Zapdos alternate art, so there's that, hang on. Okay, so it's just zooming in a bit more for these two booster packs right here. You know, we don't need the whole the whole screen as of right now. We will need it later once we open that Zara Aura VMAX um, box. But even that isn't that big. Okay. Anyways, let's continue on with this opening. Um, I always love doing these these 100 euro mystery box or these mystery box openings in in general. And it doesn't have to specifically be 100 euro. That's just what I bought um, because you get so much variety. I mean, we have we have some Pokemon 151, which I actually didn't want to open anymore. You know, I got my I got my Demi God pack. I got the Charizard, which is the best card you can pull. Um, so I was done with the set, didn't want to open it anymore. The cards that I was missing, I was just gonna buy a singles. But they pull me back in, and I've heard good things about that, that poster collection. I've heard a lot of people saying that that's where the pulls are. We'll put that to the test in this one. But for now, we only get a holo from Paul Evolve. We did get that Pikachu EX, so it's not like we walked away empty-handed. There we go. Um, let's just rip open this thing next because, yeah, there's there's not much in here. There's just these decks in here and these two and two Pokemon Go booster packs, which are kind of the highlight, even though I don't like Pokemon. Pokemon Go, it's probably my least. Oh, actually, it's not my least favorite set. Um, there are, of course, the the sets that feature um, whatchamacallit. That don't feature alternate arts from, from the Sword and Shield era specifically, like, I don't know. Like the Sword and Shield base set, for example. Um, you also get a bunch of, of hollows, bosses orders. I don't know if this is still in rotation. This might have rotated out. Uh, but I'm not sure about that, but here we go anyways. Here is the code card, so enjoy that. And then here is the two decks, which I'm not going to unbox. The, the really cool thing about this is the Mewtwo coin. The Mewtwo coin is really, really, really cool. Really, really cool. But yeah, it's it's just a deck. You get a deck box, a bunch of... This is basically ready to play. You can buy one of these and have a duel with, with your friend. Um, one, someone of you uses the Melmetal V-Box. 
one the other one uses the Mew 2 V deck. And then here are the two booster packs. Oh, you're right. You also get these cool looking stickers and some codes right here. There you go. Enjoy. Good luck to whoever gets that. Um, I haven't played Pokemon Go in a really long time. So I, I don't have any use for those. Okay, two Pokemon Go booster packs. Let's see what we get here. Um, I would still love to pull a Ditto. I haven't pulled a Ditto yet. And I've opened a few Pokemon Go booster packs, so I'd be very happy if we at least pull a, a Ditto. Not in this one, and just a holographic Moltres. Okay. Just a holographic Moltres. You know, the bane of my existence. I, I think I've pulled that card from what I've opened of, um, of Pokemon Go. I've pulled that card a lot. That holographic Moltres. The bane of my existence. Let's see what... Maybe we can get something good in here. Maybe, maybe Spinarak. Wimpod, Lavatar. Get a Nummel. No Ditto, unfortunately. And another holographic Gyarados. Okay. You know, it is what it is. Here are the other cards, and here's, of course, the code card. That's just Pokemon Go for you. That is just Pokemon Go. Although you do have to keep in mind, if you're buying that product, like, as is, you're buying it for for the deck mainly. You don't... If you really wanted booster packs, that's not what you would buy. Um, let's open up this Astral Radiance Elite Trainer box. Um, I actually do really like um, Astral Radiance. I think I've mentioned this a few times. But Astral Radiance is actually one of my favorite sets from the Sword and Shield era. Because I'm pretty sure, unless I'm misremembering, this might have been the set that introduced Trainer Gallery cards to us in, in English. Um, although I might be getting it wrong, but there are a, a lot of good cards in here. Um, let's just flip through this actually real quick to see if I'm correct about these Trainer Gallery cards. Um, let's see... Yes, I am correct. I did remember correctly. I just don't know if this is the first set that added them. But there is a bunch of good ones in here. Um, the Garchomp featuring Cynthia is going to be really insane. There's also the Starmie featuring Misty. So, uh, lots of good cards in here. And then, of course, the the normal cards that you might be able to pull. You know, any alternate arts from the Sword and Shield era are going to be insane. We have eight... Is it eight booster, booster packs? It is eight. Okay. It is eight. Um, you also get the normal jazz from this, as per usual. Um, little little rule book right here. Some dividers, some energy cards are right here. Here is the code card for that one. No promo card in this one. And some sleeves. I'll take those out. I do like to to use those whenever I'm shipping cards. Okay. Here we are, eight chances for, for something great to pull, or to pull something great, for something great to happen. Let's see if we can do it. Let us see if we can do it. If I can get the pack open, that'd be nice. Okay. So I'm not going to be doing the card trick, uh, because there's just so much so much packs we have to go through. Still have two boxes left to, to open. Maybe we can get something great. Not in this one, just a non-holographic Reggie Draco. And here is the code card for that one. You know, I mean, we still have seven chances. If we don't get something in the first one, that's that's to be expected, I suppose. Um, oh, yeah, right. I didn't even talk about this. I should have talked about this at the start. So I did calculate the value of all these items that were in here. I did use card market. And what I did is I, I put... Uh, basically, the cheapest offer for for everything in the in my um, cart, and it actually came out to be just the just the items. They came out to be um, just under like one euro under a hundred euros. Um, the most expensive part about all of this is if you're buying it from the cheapest one, um, there are going to be five different sellers, so all of them want shipping, and with shipping, actually, it would come out to. Okay, so 100 euros, but with shipping, because I, I did use five different sellers, because not everyone has all of these items in stock, um, it came out to like 120, so I think I think the value of these items are fair. Um, the selection, well, it is a mystery box. The selection, maybe I wouldn't wouldn't have put in the, the deck, you know, the Pokemon Go double deck, but I guess the... 
the mystery boxes are in a way there for the sellers to get rid of unwanted stock for for the most part but i guess it's fine we got a nice uh, hizuian samurai so that's our second pull of this video still nothing too fancy here but maybe we can we can remedy that with a nice alternate art from this booster pack right here maybe we can remedy that let's see Puchiana, we got a Yanma, got a Driftloon, very nicely illustrated. Got a Combi, an Overquill, and yo, a Gardenia's Vigor! I almost skipped that. Nice, okay, that is not garbage. That is a very good pull. I really like this. I recently graded this card in Japanese, actually. And now having a an English copy of this one is actually pretty great. Pretty, pretty great. Let's just look at this up close. Because this is kind of special. This is the first very, very good pull that we have in this video. Very nice. I like it. I like it. Okay, let's see what else we can pull from, from these booster packs right here. Maybe we can still get something else. Even though we also got... We already got lucky. We'll see. My luck with ETBs is usually very, very bad. And this is no different, just a non-holographic Reggie Rock here. But at least here is the code card. Okay, moving it on. Three booster packs left for Astro Radiance. And we're gonna probably gonna move it on to Pokemon 151. Because I do want to finish it off with Zero Aura. Actually, no, we'll look at the we'll look at the packs that are inside of the Zero Aura collection, if we can through. Regardless, if there's like an evolving skies or something great in there, we'll save that for last. But probably, probably gonna be the probably gonna be the um, Pokemon 151 poster collection next because I don't think there's evolving skies in that Zara Aura box. Pretty sure there isn't. The carts are going all over the place. Okay, second to last Astro Radiance pack. I can't complain about what we've pulled from Astro Radiance so far. Gardenia's Vigor, that's an insane card. I really, really like it. You know, maybe I'll send that into PSA. Maybe, maybe to have a different version or a second version of that card, having it already graded in a CGC Pristine 10, actually. Very, very nice. Pristine 10. I do like him, but one last pack of Astro... Well, it, it might not be the last pack of Astro Radiance. We might get a one more from the Zara Aura box. But we'll see. Scyther right here. We have a Growlithe. A Bronzor. Got a Rufflet. Got a Quillfish. We've got a Gardevoir. Very nice. And a Holographic Regigigas. Okay. So we did get a pull there in the end. With the Gardevoir. I have... Multiple versions of this. I'm pretty sure I have it in Japanese. I might also have it in English already. But pulling a Gardevoir, you can't complain about. That's It's always nice to pull a Gardevoir. So there we go. Okay, let me just see what kind of packs we have in here. So I think I'm seeing Starbirth, Silver Tempest, Astro Radiance, and Lost Origin, maybe? Okay, so... Um, Actually, no, we're going to open it now. We're going to save Pokemon 151 for last, then. Because that, that is going to be special. This is this is kind of a big box. Hang on. Okay, there we go. I actually can fit it into frame, just about. So, let me try to open this fairly quickly. Knocking off my microphone and making it sound horrible. Okay. Come on. There we go. There we go. Get the box out of here. Get out of here. And open this one up. I always like opening these, like, big collection boxes. Because as always, you get so many nice promo cards. Are they promos? They are promos. They appear to be promos. You get so many nice promo cards. And you always you already get... Or you also get a, um... A bunch of booster packs as well. So that's always nice. So here we have the code card. There you go. And we also have a... A few promos here. Zero Aura V Star, Zero Aura V, and Zero Aura V Max. I actually pretty like I actually like them. I'm pretty sure. And this one is gonna be in my main binder, my main jumbo card binder. I love these. I've said that multiple times. I love these jumbo cards. I I think they're pretty neato. Of course, an acrylic V-Star marker. 
but you're probably gonna have a lot of these already. If you're thinking about buying this box just for that marker, probably not. Um, a nice selection of booster packs, at least. Let's open them up. Let's start with Lost Origin, since we have two packs of those. Lost Origin. I do already have the Giratina V. Um, wouldn't mind pulling another one, though, to be fair. Wouldn't mind pulling another one. Um, I did I did buy that Giratina V. I didn't actually pull it. And here we go. Hey, we got the Pikachu. That's a pretty good one. That's a pretty good one. Nice. Okay. We got the Pikachu, at least. That's a pretty good one. It's also very, very cute. It's just Akari with Pikachu just sleeping. They fell asleep while picking apples. Would you look at that? Very, very cute. Actually, let's save that one. Let's open this Astro Radiance one. And see if we can't pull that Garchomp or Starmie. I would love to have that for the collection. Um, I do have the Garchomp in Japanese. I don't have the, the Starmie. So I would like to have that one. We have a Radiant card at least. I spoiled that one. Radiant Halucha. Let's see. Nope. Just a non-holographic Regirock here. Here are the other cards. And here's of course the Code card. Good luck to whoever gets that one. Enjoy, enjoy. I actually haven't touched Pokemon Live in a while. Like, ever since they they updated it, or they changed it from, um, what was it? The Pokemon trading card game online to Pokemon Live. I haven't actually touched it at all. Um, I don't know why. I don't know why. Let's see what we can get in this last Origin pack. Mianfu, we've got an Inkei. And we've got a Manectric, non-holographic Manectric. Misfortune Sisters and Arcphone. At the end there, there's the code card, of course, and the energy can go over there as well. Okay. Brilliant stars. One last pack from the from the Zera Aura box. One last pack. Let's see what we can pull in this one. What you can what can you pull in Brilliant Stars? You can pull the, the Charizard, that would be insane. You could pull the, the Arceus V. That would also be insane. Golet, Motham, and a Dusk Noir holographic. Nope, not for us though. Not for us. We cannot pull anything from from Brilliant Stars. The Pokemon 151 poster collection. The last box from from this mystery box. The last item. Um, that is glued very securely. Makes me kind of wonder if it's resealed, but probably not, since the guy I bought it from or the shop I bought it from is very reputable. So, here we go. Let's get this out of here and get this off the table. Um, this is a very big poster, it looks like. Whoa, that is... That is absolutely huge. I can't even show this off. It looks like it's going to feature every single Pokemon. Like the original 151. Yeah, okay. Um, is there anything on the other side? Ooh, okay. Hang on. Let me just fold this open like once and show it to you if I can. So this is the other side of the poster. Um, it appears that all the illustrations from Pokemon 151 are featured on that page. This is actually a very cool poster, not gonna lie. I'm probably gonna hang this somewhere. This is very, very nice. I really love the the second, pa the second page right here, where it's just featured illustrations of all of these cards. Very, very cool. I will have to find a place to, to hang this somewhere, but... First of all, let's get the most important part, of course, over with. The unboxing. Let's just get these cards out of here so I can uh, knock my microphone once again and make it sound horrible. Here is the code card. There you go. And here are the, the three promos. I actually really like these promos. These promos look incredibly cute. They look incredibly cute. Okay, three more booster packs of Pokemon 151. I really thought I was done with this set. I really thought I was done with this set, but no, they pull me back in. They pull me back in. Um, there's still, I mean, I'm still missing a bunch of cards from Pokemon 151. I still haven't picked up any of the singles. Um, for that matter, I haven't picked up any singles for a really long time. Because, well, I, I just, after that 1000 um, euro mail day, like every month, I did have to save some money here and there, so I didn't actually pick up any any um, singles. 
And I'm actually, well, that's not true. I did pick up a few trainers here and there. I mean, I still have one lying around here. I did pick this up recently for the trainer collection, the Elisa Sparkle. But that's about it. That's, that's about it. Okay. Let's try to get this over with before my camera overheats, hopefully. Old Ember, Pidgeotto, Magmar, got a Shelder, Pidgeot, Omanite, got a Tauros. We got a Nidoqueen, a Venonat, and a Chansey. Whoa, okay. Okay, just a Chansey there. And here is the code card. There you go. Okay, let's try to open this pack real quick before my camera overheats again. Um, as good as it is, it does tend to overheat and the battery life is horrible. But, you know, maybe we don't even pull anything in here. But I'm I'm confident. Come on, we're gonna pull something. An alternate art. A Demi-God pack, that'd be something. Giovanni, not a Demi-God pack. We could still pull something great. Nope. Just another holographic. Three holographics from this. This is the only thing we've pulled from that poster collection. This holographic energy. Damn, that's rough. That's that's actually really, really rough. That's really rough. Okay. Welp. Okay, well, that, that was my mystery box opening. Um, not as good as the one I did last year, but I still had a lot of fun. Because I always love opening these different kinds of products. And you get so many different booster packs, and that's just what I love to open. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, then give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, then give it a thumbs down. Tell me in the comments below what you didn't like, so I can try to fix that for future videos, perhaps. Right here is a video that YouTube thinks is best suited for you. Right here is the sub button. Click this one first, then click this one. Check out any of the videos down in the description below. And other than that, hope we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace, peace.